August 31st, uh, 2010, in beautiful northern Ontario. Beautiful sunny day, really hot today, uh, 30 Celsius, so it's at 85 Fahrenheit. Anyway, had the oven out. Actually had it out all night, didn't bring it in. I see the, uh, if you look just back in here, you'll see a bit of my, uh, my tape is coming off, so I may have to replace that. Anyway, this has been out here, sort of facing the sun. It's not quite bang on yet, so it's, eh, it's getting close to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to do chicken today. I'm going to take you inside and show you how we prepare, prepare it. Okay, we're doing chicken today, as I said. I got uh, three large chicken breasts. Two of them we're going to do in barbecue sauce. You can read that or not. Kansas City style smoky barbecue sauce. Sensations from, I believe it's Compliments, which is a Canadian grocery chain known as Sobeys. Anyway, uh, we'll be wrapping the, uh, the chicken individually in pieces of tin foil, shiny side in. As I said, two in barbecue sauce, one plain for future use for things like stir fries and whatever. And we're also going to put in with it this crater here. One homegrown acorn squash, fresh out of the garden. And it's really easy to cook squash, and I'll show you what to do with that in just a second. So stand by. So you put a generous amount of, uh, of the barbecue sauce on, and then uh, wrap it up in the tin foil. Just uh, stay with me here. Let's see if we can do this like that. Done. So, not rocket science, but I just wanted to show you what we did. I said two, two with barbecue, one without, and uh, uh, we'll put all three in the oven along with the squash, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, back outside. Uh, it's, uh, this is a really kind of a hazy, kind of intermittent cloud day. Really warm, but uh, but not a lot of direct sun. Um, anyway, it's just about one o'clock. Uh, I've been sitting about 300. So now I'm going to put in, uh, I brought all my uh, accoutrement with me here, squash and chicken, and just give me a second here, and I'll just show you how we stack this in. All right, no, no real science to it. Uh, hopefully you can see it. There's the three tinfoil packages with the chicken, and there's the squash, and that's the unique part about a solar cooker. Uh, you don't really have to do anything to the squash. Uh, basically, that's just the squash right out of the garden. There's a garden over there, squash are like triffids. Um, anyway, we picked that one, so what we're going to do is just, uh, and this is all I usually do, is just uh, clean the outside of the squash, just set it in the oven as is. No, you don't have to push holes in it or cut it open or anything. You just let it cook. And since it's such a hazy day today, I'm going to give it about four hours. And we'll come back here at five o'clock and we'll uh, see what it looks like. Uh, but that's all you do with squash. It's uh, really unique. Normally they'll, they'll cook in about three hours. The larger butternuts take about four. And if you've got a hazy day like today, uh, you're probably looking at four to five hours for a very large squash, but because of the quantity of the oven, we've got do have three pieces of chicken plus the squash. I'll give it four hours. We'll check on it from time to time. Stay tuned. Yeah, chicken and squash. Okay, been in about an hour. Yeah, pretty close to 250. Just about right on. Just a little under. Yeah, as you can see, nothing much looks changed. Yeah, we'll check on it maybe in another hour or hour and a half, and, uh, and then well, I'll show you the finished product. Uh, this stuff usually turns out very good. Okay, stay tuned. All right, this has been an hour and a half since the last time we checked. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of glasses fogged up. This happens sometimes when you do the squash, because the squash, uh, I guess, lets it a little moisture as it cooks. It's, I don't know if you can see it. It's not that clear, but it's, uh, the skin's starting to wrinkle up, which means that it's starting to cook. Um, we're just over, looks to be about 200, and so we're at about 100 C. So about just the boiling point, 212. Um, which is fine, and I just reamed the oven. It was off a bit for sun, so not perfect. Um, it will come out of there about five. Uh, we'll take a look at it. It will be done to a turn. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, chicken and squash, and remember before it was a bit fogged over. Now it's really fogged over. You can't hardly see it. It's uh, Anyway, it's, it's just in the warming stage now. I'm sure it's fully cooked. Uh, I'll take it inside. We'll uh, open it up and show you how this stuff looks. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, chicken and squash inside. Here's the squash. Remember, we just put it in whole. We didn't do anything to it. All we did was put it in the, the oven. And this is how it comes out. You just take a knife, slice it up, and look at that. Done to a turn. 
you scoop out the seeds and you're left with squash. Now you can also do this in tin foil if you really wanted to do it. You can cut it in half before you do it, scoop the seeds out, put butter or whatever you want. But this is the easiest way to cook squash in a solar oven because this is how it turns out. Perfect every time. You don't have to worry about it exploding. And the chicken, I'll just open one up here, move the squash aside. Oh, i got to drain this. <laughs> okay, so now here's what the chicken will look like. So this is one of the ones that we've done in the barbecue sauce. We drained some of the juice off, as you can see. And I'm going to take the knife and just, again, hot. Wow. But, done perfectly. Done to a turn. This is going to be good. Thanks for watching.